Hey you guys, I'm back with another Real Talk video. Have you ever felt like being a Christian is a struggle? That's how I feel. The struggle is real. So I've been thinking, but before I get into all of that, while I'm talking to y'all being real since I'm in the comfort of my house, I'm going to be eating. What am I eating? <laughs> Bojangles. Yes, I love Bojangles. I don't even usually drink their drinks, their tea. But I've been out in the heat for my daughter's uh, field day. So I'm tired. I'm hot. So excuse me if you hear smacking or chewing loud or all of that stuff makes you uncomfortable because I'm chilling. We real, you real, right? We eat. I'm hungry. It's lunchtime. Whatever. Let's do it. Anyway, so I was thinking and I already said my grace, so don't come at me. Oh, she didn't say her grace. Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and say it in the camera. Lord, please bless this food, bless the hands prepared, let it nourish our bodies in Jesus' name. Without any sickness, hurt, harm, or danger, upon consumption, be blessed with ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Now. Okay. So, I always think about stuff. When I do, and it's deep, I write it down. Maybe in my journal, maybe um, diary, whatever you want to call it. I write it down. I take notes about it. I mean, because you got to ponder on something, right? But anyway, when I'm coming with these Real Talk videos, I put notes down so I can be able to remember what I was thinking or some good points to make. But anyway, first I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, in high school, middle school, high school, I always was like loving Jesus, right? Loving Jesus. I was going to church. My mom was taking me to church. I grew up in church. Um... I never really really had a choice to believe anything else besides Christianity because that's what I grew up in. So in middle school and high school, right, when I started smelling myself or feeling myself or whatever you want to say, I always was kind of like trying to hide God, right? Yeah, it sounds bad. But I was, I was always trying to hide God from my friends because I wanted to fit in. I wanted to be cool. I wanted to hang out with the cool kids. I wanted to be like, let me take the sticker off. I went to my daughter's school today. But anyway, um... I wanted to be one of the cool kids and you know what I'm saying I wanted to drink I wanted to smoke I wanted to hang out I wanted to be with the guys you know what I'm saying and I was always hidden like I was always going back home like okay let me go to church okay let me go pray to the Lord okay let me go read some scripture let me go read the word you know whatever so I was always hiding it now now growing up I feel like the struggle is real the struggle is real I see a net you guys a fruit fly it's that time of the year those fruit fly so if you see one I'm not nasty it's fruit fly season so if you got a little bit of fruit that's what it is and I actually see it okay anyway so um yeah so I was always trying to hide it and now coming into me being I'm about to be 31 next month and um now I'm just like, I don't really don't care. I don't really care. I don't care if you don't want to hang out with me. I don't care if I'm not cool. I don't care if I'm not fun. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's hard trying to be trying to be for God. You don't want to tread the fence. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to just be hot or cold. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you know, you want to be hot for God. You don't want to be cold to him. And you don't want to be, you definitely don't want to be lukewarm, right? We already know that in the scripture. But we, we definitely don't want to be lukewarm, right? Either you you love him or you hate him. You know what I'm saying? You serve him or you not. You know, it's not it's not a great area in there. So, um, man, I, I don't have no friends, really. You know what I'm saying? A couple people, whatever, I can call a friend, I guess, or whatever. But um, my mom is my overall truly, truly, truly best friend. My mother, man, that's my best, best, best friend in the whole wide world. So for real about it. But, um... Yeah, so it's a struggle be try trying to fit in, right? I'm 31, but I'm not old. I still like to have fun. Um, I still wouldn't mind like drinking it or whatever, turning up, right? So then you got that part of you, which is your flesh, right? Me, like just me, okay? I'm not putting God in it. And then I have the part where I feel convicted about um, wanting to do those things, wanting to do this or whatever like that. So yeah. Um, but trying to, trying just, just being Christian in general, being a Christian in general, you're going to stand out. I already know that. I've always been told that. I already know that you're you're going to stand off. So it begins if you're trying to get in a group, you don't ever fit in the group. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to get in and hang out, but you're always different. You're standoffish, you know, or maybe people are jealous 
of you not like tooting my horn or being boastful or whatever but maybe people are jealous of you you don't know why you haven't done anything to them or anything it's just something about your spirit right that rubs their spirit the wrong way and it's you know we'll get into that later but anyway i'm not even eating because i'm talking y'all oh um, yeah not being accepted by people not being accepted by people um because i don't be accepted i'm serious nobody don't accept me i am not accepted if i'm not drinking smoking turning up smoking a little weed i'm being honest you know something that's contrary to the gospel something that's fleshly if i'm not doing that stuff nobody wants to kick it with me because they think i'm so serious or she ain't nobody cool to hang out with or whatever whatever right so the struggle is real and i'm gonna be real about it i'm not gonna come up here to make it seem like you know what i'm saying everything is peachy 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 as being a christian but and then at the same time right the same time you have to think the enemy whether you say your friends because he can use he can he can use anyone he can be he can use your family he can use your friends but the enemy the opposition right whatever you want to call it satan okay he will never let you forget your past I've overcome a lot of things in my life, right? I've overcome, I've, I, got, I got testimonies, which we'll get into later, later, later. But, um, yeah, I have uh, plenty of testimonies, right? And, um, he won't let you forget it. He can bring somebody up. He can bring a parent up, a boyfriend up, to just, um, use them to be like, oh, remember you used to do this? Remember you used to drink? Remember you smoked? Nah, that's the same old Valente. She was turning up in the club. That's the same old her. I'm not the same old me. I am not the same old me. This struggle is real being a Christian, y'all, for real. Because you're battling. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to be sold out for God, because you're battling. Because Satan make everything that's wrong be appeasing, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's appeasing. You think it look good. But we always know, and we already know, everything that look good ain't good for you. So, I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I be trying. I be trying. I want to live right. I want to be, you know, I want to be right for God. I want to be the bride ready for Christ's return. That's what I want to be. People don't understand it. They don't get it. If they don't, so be it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not going to push something on someone or... Like trying to explain why I am how I am, why I changed and why I'm, I got this different mindset. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not trying to hide it no more. It's like if you don't want to hang out with me, then don't hang out with me. But the point of it all, this is the real, this is the real tea. Truth be told that God, Jesus Christ, God sent his son Jesus, right? To die for all of our sins, right? So we don't have to be perfect, y'all. We don't got to be perfect. Stop. It's, it's crazy because I got friends, right? I got friends. Hold on. I got friends that I could be like, yo, you know, you need to pray or whatever. Something was like, I'm not saying be this radical crazy. Oh, my God. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm holding your Bible everywhere you go. That's not what I'm saying. But God came for people like us, man. He came for people like us he didn't come for people that think they're perfect christians you know what i'm saying you got that christianity that christian group who think they're so perfect you can do no wrong but it already says in the word everybody i mean everybody you too me too okay falls short okay it already says that in the word so if you don't know it go look it up search it for yourself don't take my word for it at all you go look it google it something it's gonna pop up but um yeah y'all he didn't come for perfect people somebody was like i was telling him go read like i said right go read um maybe you should try god no 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 man i ain't playing with god like that i ain't playing with him like that it's like that's not playing with god come to him as you are he is going to take every everything he loves you for you he knows how you are. He knows your habits. He knows your mistakes. He knows your past. He knows your present. He knows your future. So come to him. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Come to him. God created you. Come to Jesus Christ. Give your give yourself to him. And slowly, I'm telling you, you might want to turn up now. But when con conviction sets on your mind and on your spirit, you're not going to want to turn up. Trust me. It's not going to happen. You're going to, he going to, it's going to start pull, pulling at your heart strings, you know? 
excuse me, pulling at your heartstrings, pulling at your, your spirit strings, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get that conviction to be like, nah, I don't want to do this no more. Nah, I don't want to go out tonight, you know what I'm saying? You're going to tell your girlfriends or boyfriends or whatever, look, nah, we can just chill, you know what I'm saying, at the house tonight. I'm just saying, nah, I don't want to smoke tonight. You know, just certain habits about you that you may seem that are bad, they'll slightly begin to change. God will change, like coming to Jesus, it changes it for you. It's, it's, it's awesome. But yeah, y'all. I'm closing it up. I don't want to be too long. I'm going to finish my food. And the whole point is keep going for God. It's a process. Things don't happen overnight. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Ain't nobody up here perfect. So we cannot judge someone, but we can give advice to go the right way. We can help our fellow brother to be able to be, or sister, to be able to get a little further in God and, and, and make some good improvements. Because if you haven't tried Christ, try him. Try him because I'm up here real, you guys. When you get to know me, you know I'm real like you. It's nothing different. Ain't nothing, nothing, nothing different from me to you, to the next person. I'm not up here, down here. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to help each other out. So that's what I'm here for. Um, to tell you a little bit about myself. Some of my testimonies or whatever. Real talk stuff. And that's the whole thing. And the whole point is keep pushing. Keep moving and watch it. Watch it. Dare him. I dare you to try God. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you to pick up your word. I dare you to give yourself to Christ. I dare you to try them, yo. Try them. But anyway, I'll see y'all later because I'm hungry and I love y'all. As always, be encouraged, be blessed, never stress. Peace.